the keys, the box of magic. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the YouTube channel. This has been such a long time in the making, but we are finally, finally getting a video uploaded. So what essentially happened is a couple of days ago, some friends and I went to Cars and Coffee, which is one of the biggest car meets in the entirety of Brisbane. There's always a massive variety from supercars, my favorite, JDMs, uh, Germans, etc. But essentially what happened is I went around and filmed a bunch of those exotic supercars for you guys to enjoy. But that's not all. Later on, we also went and checked out the amazing car dealership, Absolute Prestige Cars. But I'll get onto that later in the video. For now, let's look at the cars and coffee footage. Hope you guys enjoy. Right, we got two really nice Porsches right here. So over there, that's the GT4 RS. There's probably less than 10 of those in Brisbane right now. I think it was the second one that turned up to Cars and Coffee earlier, but that's since departed. And over here, check out the spec on this 911, 992 Targa. It's not like a white interior, but it's a very, very light gray, all leather. It looks really nice, super clean. Here's something you probably didn't know about the GT4 RS. You can option it with a fire extinguisher in case you're, I don't know, tracking your car too hard. The aerodynamics in this car are absolutely wild. Not every 718 comes with a massive swan that wing like that. And over here is a car that's actually pretty rare. This is a Aston Martin Virage, not a DB9 not a Vanquish. This is the sort of in-between model, which they didn't end up selling that many of and cut production after only about two years. All right, we've got another cool pair of cars over here. We've got the Ferrari 599 GTB and the Aston Martin Vantage F1 edition. Now there aren't that many of these in Queensland at all. You can see it's in the F1 paint color with the lime green accents all around, including in the interior. And you can see by the dirt all over the car, the owner's been using this properly. Yeah, this 599 is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure what the paint color is called, but... Ooh, what's that? We've got an Aston Martin Vanquish right there. Aston Martin V12s always have a very distinctive sound. Anyway, back to this, yeah. So front tension, V12, although the V12 is actually mounted behind the front axle. Yeah, super nice car. All right, we've got a couple, a couple Lamborghini Gallardos right here. Uh, both of these are first gens, uh, however this one's got an aftermarket bumper that looks like the second gen. It's looking pretty good, made out of carbon fiber. And we come back here, we've got a third Lamborghini Gallardo, also a first gen. And if you come around look at the interior, this one's got a manual transmission. So it must be really nice to drive. So what else have we got? We've got a McLaren 570S with a, as you saw, a pretty funny number plate. Audi R8, this one's a V8 model I think. And over here, We've got a Ferrari 575 Maranoa. Right here, we've got another really cool pair of supercars. We've got a McLaren MP412C, but with a really nice body kit. That definitely isn't factory. And then a Mercedes AMG GTR, also looking super good with this custom stripe livery. As you probably saw, you know, this 12C has put the engine bay up so you can see inside. Not many McLarens actually look inside the engine anymore. Right, we've got a couple Lotuses here today. So we've got two Exiges, but also the new Lotus Emira, which there are not that many of in Queensland right now at all. Deliveries have only just started. You can see this one comes with the six-speed manual transmission. And I believe this one also has the, the Toyota Deride V6. But to say that this car is powered by a Camry engine would be a bit of a, wouldn't do it justice. And you can see here on the badge there, it's a first edition. So this one's fully spec'd out. All the options ticked. Right, so you might have seen uh, this Lamborghini Huracan Performante turned up. Uh, the paint color is a pretty common one, Viola Passafé. A lot of Lamborghinis are painting this color nowadays. Okay, right here, we've got a Ferrari F430 Spider with the roof currently up. But, you know, it's like the windows down for everyone to see inside. So, that's the Ferrari interior from around 2008-ish. If you come around here, you can see the engine on the back of the back of the car. Right. It looks like everyone's about to head off now, so all the supercars gonna roll out.
Right, now a lot of the crowds are gone, we can check out this bit more. It's an Aston Martin DBS Super Legera in a super nice dark green paint, but with carbon fiber, tinted in green as well, all around the car. And that's also complemented by, as you can see, some bronze accents. Bronze wheels, gold calipers. Super, super, super cool spec, very classy. So yeah, that was the cars and coffee footage. Now on to the absolute prestige cars footage. And I just want to preface this by saying that th these guys are absolute legends. They let us check out the interiors, exteriors of the cars, and they also had a Lamborghini Huracan, which they revved for us, which has a $15,000 race exhaust. It sounded insane. So hope you guys enjoy that too. All right, we're here at absolute prestige cars. As you can see, we've got a Lamborghini Huracan right there. Right, so he's doing us a massive favor, getting all the cars out for us to check out. So this should be pretty cool. Well, he's getting the F8 out. Check out the livery on this LP610 Huracan. I'm not sure if it's a factory aero kit or aftermarket body parts. Actually, yeah, these are definitely aftermarket. You can see the carbon fiber side skirts, front splitter, rear wing. Here comes the F8 Spider. I believe this spider was the second last to ever be delivered to Brisbane. How's this for a lineup? V8 Ferrari, V10 Lamborghini. This one here is painted in, I believe, Rosso Corso, which is the famous Ferrari red paint color. But the interior is where the wild stuff is. Brown Alcantara everywhere with the Italian flag uh, accents all over, including on the steering wheel. This thing is super, super, super nice. This is cool. Bentley Continental GT, but it's not just the regular GT. It's actually, as you can see from the badge here, the Super Sport model. And this time we got another Huracan, although this one's an Evo. I believe this car has been sold recently. It used to have a super, super expensive number plate on it, but now we've just got the regular Queensland one. You know, when I started doing car spotting about three years ago, I definitely didn't expect I would end up in situations like this, where... I don't think I need to put this into words, you can just look and see for yourself. That's pretty insane. Right, the backpack can go right there. Let's take a closer look at... Oh, where should we start? So this is a Ferrari 488 GTB, which was the first twin turbocharged V8 uh, model that Ferrari ever made, if you forget the F40. So I might just take a seat inside, show you around the interior. So you can see there's leather absolutely everywhere. Carbon fiber, uh, yeah, wow. Well, and this is what your Ferrari key looks like. Wow. Well, all right, it's beeping at me. I think I might hop out of this. I think the supercars, you gotta watch your head when you're getting out. You don't wanna bash your head. Jeez. Let's check out the Bentley. I've sat in a couple of Huracans before, but I've never actually sat in the Bentley. So, as I said, it's the Continental GT Super Sports, which is, as you can see on the dorsal right there, one of only 710 in the entire world. These things are super limited. And I'll tell you what, these seats are so comfortable. If you own one of these cars, you're not gonna have any back pains. Unlike those Huracans, from what I've heard, they're very uncomfortable. And look at the pattern on this uh, passenger thing here. I'm not sure what that is, if it's like super large weaved carbon fiber or some kind of artwork. Yeah, the quality of the materials in here is just fantastic, wow. And you've even got stuff on here, like, I don't even know what this does. You've even got a Breitling clock there. Breitling normally make watches for your wrists, not watches for cars, but clearly they've got some sort of collaboration going with Bentley, so yeah. So, hiding behind this, Range Rover here. The 308 GTB, Aussie wow. delivered, fiberglass body, not too many came into the country. Yeah, and especially in yellow, this is especially probably a very rare yeah. spec as well. Yeah. So if you can get your hands on this, yeah. I'm sure the values of this are only going to increase in the future. Right, let's do a full walk around for you guys. So we've got the Continental GC Super Sports. At the back, we've got the 911. 
Out front, Huracan LP610-4. Ferrari uh, F8 Tributo. 4S8 GTB. And finally, the Huracan Evo. James has activated the roof mechanism on the F8. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, let me take a seat inside. Oh, this is nice. Let's pull that shot. The person who originally bought this car also bought not only this, which is the second last F8 Spice be delivered in Brisbane, but also the final one, which was painted in green. However, even though this Rosso Corsa paint is maybe considered the, the regular Ferrari paint, I think it just looks good. There's a reason why so many people choose to go with the color. It's just classic and looks amazing. I'll tell you what, this interior isn't exactly bad either. Brown Alcantara, carbon fiber, super, super nice. And while I was talking about all that stuff, James actually put the roof back off. How do I turn the mirrors down? What mirrors? Uh, oh, here we go. How's this for a profile picture? I don't know, I've seen the Stratman do this a couple times. Okay, I'm gonna try and step out without... Oh, how do you... Okay, I think you pull this. There we go. Now, fortunately, this one doesn't have a roof, so I can get out really easily. Yeah, mobility with this car is much easier. So yeah, guys, if you don't know about Absolute Prestige cars, if you ever want to sell a supercar of yours, make sure to come here one of the best in the business right nuno's just told us like, he's got a surprise in store for us so i guess i have to wait and see what that is but you know what yeah. i've sat in a couple of hurricanes before but i'll never turn down the opportunity to sit in another so this is the evo as i said but it's actually the rear wheel drive model which means that the power only goes to the rear wheels so if you want to do donuts in this thing you can much more easily than the other hurricane models so as with the more modernized hurricanes you've got a uh, screen in the middle and obviously your engine start stop button for when you want to power up your car. I think this is the cup holder, does it? Oh, I don't even know how much this costs, but it's a super expensive uh, cup holder. Not really sure how much you can actually hold with it. All right, I'm gonna put the cars back now, but Neo's gonna rev up the Huracan again quickly. All right, dirty as well. That's cool. All right. Propping up the phone on the Range Rover. They're doing us a very kind favor, letting us all have some hoodies for free. I'll check and see if this fits me. Yeah, this one, this one fits me. That one fits you up? You know what? I reckon that fits pretty fine. What are you thinking? Try them on. Try them on now. So, where I had this phone on was a carbon fiber hood of the Range Rover. That's pretty nice. And the keys, the box of magic. That's the key you need to start up every single car in this room. All right, all right, that is the first ever YouTube video done and dusted. If you guys want to help out the channel, please press the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra kind, like the video and leave a comment. And in return, I will be kind to you by introducing the spot of the week, which is where at the end of every single future YouTube video, you guys can DM me on my Instagram page, your best car spots and the best submissions will get their photograph featured at the end of every single YouTube video. So get submitting. Thanks for watching the video.